Welcome back. Problem 12-28. So statement is determine the slope at end B and maximum deflection of cantilever triangular plate of constant thickness. The plate is made of material having modulus of elasticity of E. So you can see this is a cantilever triangular beam that is subjected to point load at the end that is P. The thickness of this beam is constant throughout the length clear and this plate is made of material having elasticity e so what we have to find the slope at end b and maximum deflection so due to this load this beam will bend like this clear and we will having a maximum deflection at point b as well as maximum slope so the maximum deflection and we will having a maximum slope theta b at this point so let's start with the solution so first we know that equation of uh, slope and elastic curve equation of slope and elastic curve is represented by it can be derived by using this formula e i into d square v over d x square is equal to m of x now here we are interested first we are interested to find i because you can see this is a triangular plate so what if i x start from here here x is equal to zero and x at this point is x is equal to L. so what if you cut the beam over here clear let this is your total x from this point let this is x x can be anywhere from 0 to l now you can see that this is the thickness clear i will choose red color because it's sharp one so you can see this breadth is b of x and this thickness is T. so i will write i will find the section property so let me write section properties we will are we are interested to find i so you can see that this b of x if i take the uh, if i take the ratio of b of x to this x so b of x to this x will be equal to this total b this is b because b by 2 plus b by 2 is b so b divided by l that will be equal to b over l the ratio of this b over x is equal to this b over l so from here you will get this b of x is equal to b into x over l now what does this mean this means that if you take bread at anywhere at this at this or at anywhere so if you put the value of b and the x at that point or either this point or either this point or either this point so if you know this x you know l so you can find the bread at that x length clear now we know that i for i uh, if you take this cross section you can see this is a, a rectangular cross section so i for rectangular cross section is equal to 1 over 12 b h cube clear so here this b is equal to b x so b x and h is t so t cube clear so i is equal to 1 over 12 b x this b x is in bracket clear into t cube now this b x is again is equal to this so i will write i is equal to 1 over 12 b x over l into t cube or that is equal to b x t cube over 12 l so this is the moment of inertia for this 
beam when you cut it at through a length of x now uh, what if i cut the beam at this point at this point clear and draw the free body diagram so it will be like this is the uniform thickness t and this is point p so you have a load p and this distance is x when you cut it you will be having a shear force here and there will be a moment m of x that this is point one p so we will apply sum of all moment about point one is equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so this moment is minus mx because this is clockwise and p into perpendicular distance x will also produce a clockwise rotation so their sum must be equal to zero so m of x is equal to minus p into x so this is the moment equation now we know that we have the equation e i into d square v over d x square is equal to m of x and m of x is minus p x so what we will do is that we will integrate it so when you integrate it you will get e i into dv over dx is equal to minus px square over 2 plus c1 okay okay but before doing this uh, let me show that as this ei is also a function of x so what we will do is that we will write dv d square v over dx square is equal to minus p into x divide by i will only divide i and i is b x t cube over 12 l so that will give you 12 p l over b t cube okay this is minus now i will write it over here e is e into d square v or dx square is equal to minus 12 p l over v t q so now we will integrate it integrate it you will get dv or dx is equal to minus 12 minus 12 p l over p t cube into x plus c1 and it will be into 1 over e that this is your equation number one that is about slope now again integrate it again integrate it you will get v is equal to minus 12 p l minus 12 p l x square over 2 b t cube plus c1 x plus c2 into 1 over e and if you further simplify it will be minus 6 e l x square over v t cube plus c1 x plus c2 and it will be multiplied by 1 by e this is equation of deflection or equation of elastic curve now we do not know c1 and c2 and they are a constant of integration so by using boundary condition we can find them so what are the boundary conditions at x is equal to 0 uh, sorry at x is equal to l we have dv over dx is equal to 0 so put in equation 1 let me show you the boundary condition you can see that here x l is equal to 0 so this is the fixed point so here dv over dx our slope will be equal to 
zero so you will put it in the slope equation when you put x is equal to zero dv1 is equal to uh, dv over dx is equal to zero x is not zero it's x is equal to l so this will be equal to minus 12 pl uh, square over bt cube plus c1 is equal to zero so i will write c1 will be equal to 12 pl square over 12 uh, bt cube bt bt cube okay this is the value of 12 pl square or bt cube okay this is c1 now we will use another boundary condition what is that boundary condition is that at x is equal to l we have deflection is equal to zero so put it in equation number two this is equation number two and let me show you here x is equal to l we have deflection is equal to zero because this is the fixed support so when you put x is equal to l in this so we have zero is minus six p l cube over b t cube plus c one into l plus c two c one is this value so i will write this value of c l as well plus 12 p l cube over b t cube after multiplication with l plus c2 so when you solve this you will get c2 will be equal to minus 6 uh, minus 6 p l cube over b t cube now you have c1 c1 and c2 so you can just put it in equation one and two equation one is about slope and equation two is about deflection so when you put put c1 and c2 in equation one and two after putting in equation one so we will have dv or dx will be equal to uh 1 over e into minus 12 p l x over b t cube clear plus c1 and c1 is 12 p l square over b t square 12 p l square over b t square clear so you can take 12 p l over b t cube common clear so you will left with minus x and you will left with l so this is the equation of slope clear after putting this is let equation number three equation of slope after putting c1 and c2 in equation number two we will get v is equal to one over e into minus six p l x square over b t cube plus c1 x c1 is 12 p l square over b t cube 12 p l square over b t cube into x plus c2 c2 is minus 6 p l cube over b t cube and again if you take 6 p l over b t cube common from each so it will be equal to minus x square plus um, 6 is common so it will be left with 
so two l x minus l square so this is equation of deflection equation of deflection or equation of elastic curve now we have been we have find the maximum slopes or slope at point b and maximum deflection so slope at point b is equal to when you put x is equal to zero clear you can see here that this is the point b where you have x is equal to zero so you will be having a maximum slope and maximum deflection as well so you can put x is equal to zero in equation number three okay so when you put it in equation number three so you will get theta b or dv over dx at x is equal to zero so this term will be zero and we will having 12 p l square over p t cube into e okay so this is the slope at point b slope at point b now v max will be equal to v at x is equal to zero because we will have deflection is equal to zero so this term will be zero this term because x is equal to zero you have to put x is equal to zero in equation four i will write here put put x is equal to zero in equation four to get v max maximum deflection so when you put x is equal to zero this term will be zero this term will be zero and we will having 6p minus 6p l cube over bt cube into e or 6p l cube over e b into t cube and this deflection will be downward and this is the maximum deflection and that was all about problem 12-28. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about every latest video which I share with you on YouTube. And if you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.